Hello and Happy New Year and welcome to What the Flick. I am Christy, that is Ben, that's Lonzo, that's Matt. We are all back. We survived the new year. <sighs> Hurrah. And we're talking about West of Memphis, which came out last year, like a limited release, and it's going wider. At the right. very, very end of last year. Wider, like wider, on the wider. 28th or something. Yes. Who's describing it? I am. This is a uh, documentary. This is a lengthy uh, documentary. It's two and a half hours long. Yeah, and uh, it's the story of the West Memphis Three, three uh, teenagers convicted in 1993 of the brutal satanic murder of three young boys, I think eight, eight around eight, eight year old, eight year old boys. Yes. Um, and the story sort of uh, tracks their uh, arrest, uh, their conviction, and then the body of it is sort of the rather slow reveal, and again, spoilers coming, but you should know what happens here. This was all over the press when it happened last year. Uh, uh, an eventual realization that, that they didn't get these guys. And, and much like Central Park Five, uh, there was this sort of uh, uh, media frenzy about the murders, like wilding in the Central Park Five, a realization that, oh my God, these satanic cults are everywhere and they're killing <laughs> our children. There are no satanic cults. And the police did a remarkably bad job <laughs> in investigating this case. Uh, and here's a little clip. Most people think that this case is something extraordinary. It's spectacular in some sort of way, and it's not. People like Burnett and Fogelman, they thought they could make a name for themselves off of this case because really, you're dealing with three kids. Yeah, this became a literal cause celeb. Yeah, it did. Yeah. I mean, when you sure. have people like Eddie Vedder, you know, and, and Patty Smith, and, 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 yeah. and, and, right, and uh, um, Johnny Depp. Right, Johnny Depp too, right. Um, uh, and Peter Jackson, so very it's significant. Yeah, he yeah. produced it. He produced it. Yeah. This produced is about it. the first time this has been covered in a documentary. And yeah, that's, that's the weird that's thing. The I mean, weird yeah, thing there, were, there was the trilogy of documentaries, the Paradise Lost trilogy done by Joe Berlinger, Joe Berlinger and Bruce Sanofsky. And I, I remember at first when I heard about this movie, I was like, why is Peter Jackson horning in on somebody else's turf? Right. What be, more is there to say yeah, at this point? Well, right? that, and it's sort of like if Christopher Nolan told Michael Abdett, I'm going to do these up movies from now on. <laughs> yeah. Stand aside, you know, I'm 63. Well, and so, I, I, and so just the, that it exists it at all seems sort of strange to me but then the film itself actually does a really good job of sort of I mean they they mention obviously the existence of the yeah. earlier documentaries without which this would not be happening um, but it kind of goes deeper into uh, some of the the logistics as they've come out and apparently Jackson spent a lot of money to do his own investigating and his own yeah, he, legal he, he, stuff so Jackson played such mm -hmm. a, a critical role in sort of driving this along because I mean as you say it was a cause celeb but so many cause celebs are like Oh my God, we're going to totally devote most of the weekend to it. <laughs> and, and, you know, and these yeah. guys spent, uh, you know, for Eddie Vedder and, and for Peter Jackson, this was uh, really for many of the decades yeah. of sort of sticking with this case from an early realization for some people that, wait a minute, this is flawed. These guys weren't satanic. They were not in a right. satanic cult. They didn't kill these kids. Uh, and, and two of them had life sentences, and one of them was on, uh, Damien Eccles was on okay. death row. So, uh, so I, I agree with you that it's sort of surprising, except that if anyone had the sort of uh, credibility sure. to go right. ahead and do this, it was Peter Jackson because he'd really been in it and fighting to free right. these guys. And the hoopla itself is part of the story at this point. That's right. why a lot of folks heard about this that maybe might not have if they hadn't heard about the documentaries. And so, yeah, this is very comprehensive in terms of encapsulating the whole mania of it and also what these guys, what their life is like now. And correct me if I'm wrong, but but what this does uh, effectively, the Paradise Lost did ineffectively was it, one of the, the Paradises Lost. Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, suggested an alternate killer. Well, in the second movie, the one of the stepfathers gives the filmmakers a knife, and then they actually sent the knife in for testing, and they found DNA on it, and it seemed to suggest that this one stepfather might have been involved, and that sort of got a whole ball rolling of that guy then becoming accused by everybody. And now what this movie brings to the table is that, no, it's actually somebody else it's close to what's right. going on who maybe, you know, right. has so something to Right, so I also think it was for. important, though, to sort of, you know, again, the time, now they're out. Right. These guys are free um, in a bizarre situation, a bizarre legal maneuvering that covered the asses of prosecutors uh, to free these guys who did not do it. Um, and... Uh, uh, but it sets the record state 
straight for those who thought that to get, you know that that guy didn't do it. Right. Who now, I, I didn't, now, I didn't see Lost. the third Paradise Lost movie, so it may well be that that's that true. movie that's even true. goes that's back true. and that's the fixes point. the yeah. record on that one. Right. But I, and I, I mean, and based on the first two, I would say if you're interested in this subject, if you like West yeah. of Memphis, you should by all means go back and watch the Paradise Lost movies because they're the ones that got the ball rolling yeah. in this in the first and place. And there's some gnarly kind of procedural stuff in this movie. Like, I don't want to spoil it for <clears> you guys because when I saw it, I was cringing and like squirming in my seat. But what they determined are the actual sources of the cuts and bite the, marks, the lacerations, yeah. to use the vernacular. Yeah. They recreate it. It's gnarly. Yeah, they, they're, <laughs> so it's very powerful. I thought a lot of this movie, you know, it's, it is long, but but it is powerful. I don't really feel like it ever dragged. But yeah. then you realize you've also been sitting there for, for two hours and 27 minutes. There are cases like this uh, all over the country, and it's just important to remember what we all buy into, what I buy into, what I'm sure you guys buy into, is you think, well, the cops got the guy. Right. So, so he's the guy. And I love cops and the most detectives are good and honest and they're diligent and they take their job seriously but again and again and again we, we make mistakes and you know you go back to a president like George Bush who's positive that he never executed anyone wrongly mm -hmm. in Texas it's yeah. literally it's insane it's an insane thing to say uh, and it's it's why there ought not be a no, death penalty in this but, country. Well, there you go. Yeah. The whole conversation yeah. to have. Oh, but, right. um, but beyond the cops, the medical examiner is like woefully inept. Oh my God! What an incompetent boob. And they Jesus. bring medical examiners from like other states. That's a and great. It's like, a great moment. They bring they bring it. they bring in Michael Bodden, the the, the 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 you know the guy who's got the HBO show right. and he's on everything, and, and these other medical examiners from all over the world come into this guy in, in from West Memphis, and they're like. <laughs> Are you, and this guy's not even like he's not even like board certified or you yeah. know yeah well because Arkansas has this weird law right. about how he actually the, the medical examiner works for the prosecution uh, and and then you've got this judge who they're like okay well, he's running for office and we hope he wins so that so we get another judge, judge in right. and then we can <laughs> see the, yeah there's a, it, it's a fascinating and then the story. last prosecutor in the case he wasn't even the prosecutor he's the attorney general I guess mm -hmm. in Arkansas I mean his uh, I mean, his the candor, and it's such you want to admire this guy because he's like, look, I got to worry about voters. I got to get reelected re here. But you know, and even at the end, what he's saying, like, look, well, these these guys made a plea, a wonderful little thing called the Alfred plea, where you plead guilty, like we did it, but we're saying we're innocent. Like, and then you let us go. And, and then you let us go. So it's a guilty exception. plea for them, but we get to say that we didn't do it. Like I'm pleading guilty, but I did not do this. <laughs> now let me go, and that's what happens. And the prosecutor gets to say that, and he goes, so this case is closed. It's done. We know we got the right guy. We have guilty <laughs> pleas. Right? Yeah. Well, then don't let him go. Yeah. Jackass. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, it's good it's, stuff. Right. Compelling stuff. It's really stuff. good, but it's, it's, it's frustrating at the same time, and enlightening, and uh, inspiring. Yeah. I, I gave it an 8.1. I, 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 I mean, I knew the story, and I, I liked it very much. 8. 7.3, I feel like a lot of it is sort of treading on ground that's been laid by other people, but there's a lot of great new stuff, too. Uh, Eddie Vedder has an excellent singing voice. Um, uh, I haven't seen West of Memphis. I've been to Memphis. That Have you been to Arkansas? <laughs> one, to ten, what's, one to ten, what's your rating of Memphis? Uh, ten. <laughs> Memphis was a great town. Yeah. Smart uh, answer. Uh, the score, tomato meter, 96%. Yeah. Certified fresh. Yeah. Well, we give it a 7.8? 7.8, right. 